Alright, hello everybody. Uh, today I'm going to be playing Space Hulk, a Warhammer 40k game I had never actually heard of before. Apparently it's some kind of, uh, uh, like all Warhammer games. Oh no, that's not true. But, like a lot of Warhammer games. I believe it's sort of a strategy RTS type thing, but not quite like the Warhammer 40k, uh, what do you call them? I can't even remember what they're called. Dawn of War games. There we go. The Dawn of War games. And then I heard there's like a third person one. And I've seen it. Uh, it kind of looks like Gears of War. Anyways. I have no idea how to play this game. Um, so I'm just going to try it. See what happens. Hopefully I'm not too much of a noob. Like the board game. Max four command points. Well, I don't even understand. Ease. Easier close combat against gene stealers. No bolter jams can't unlock achievements. We'll just do normal. Select mission. Wait, is that Beachhead? Oh, Beachhead. I thought that was like our boarding okay. torpedoes have breached the sin of damnation, and the sound of our bolters rings true through its corridors. It is imperative that we secure the beachhead before the gene stealers can mount a coordinated counterattack. All flanks must be secured to give us time to reinforce our position. Sergeant of the squad, accept your orders. One squad will be sufficient. You will deploy your terminators here. We have predicted the enemy routes of attack. Defend the breach until a beachhead has been established. Okay. Deploy squad on deploy tiles. Kill seven gene stealers from these areas. One Terminator must survive. Okay, select. Let's see what happens. Onwards, brothers, to his glory. The members of your squad may be deployed in any order you choose. Select a ter uh, Terminator from the roster. Click left mouse button to de designated uh, deploy tiles. And all once all units are placed, click deploy to begin mission. Pressing key. So, Brother Dino, Brother Goriel. Okay, deploy. A terminator, uh, a terminator, bleh, terminator must be facing its target to be able to attack. To perform an attack, left but or left mouse button, click the weapon icon one, then click on the target two. Firing a storm bolter or assault cannon costs one AP, while a heavy flamer attack costs two AP. You can either hit or miss, and a hit kills the target. When a Gene Stealer or Terminator makes its attack, a number of six-sided dice are, d6 are rolled. The number of dice rolled depends on how the Terminator is armed. If you want to see the results of the dice roll, keep an eye on the bottom right corner of the screen. In close assault, the results of the dice roll may be a draw in which both leave uh, combatants unharmed. So it's exactly like Warhammer 40k, the tabletop game. Uh, okay, so... Really fucking tight quarters. Alright. Let them fall before us. Select your Terminator by clicking on it with the left mouse button. If a selected Terminator can move to any lit tile, the numbers inside indicate the amount of available action points. Action points are spent to perform actions like moving, opening, closing doors, shooting, and attacking the enemy in close assault. Moving forward costs 1 AP, moving backwards costs 2 H H AP. Every Terminator has a total of 4 AP to spend each turn. The movement speed of the Terminators and Gene Stealers can be changed in the options menu. Alright, so... Three, I don't know, two? Yeah, this guy moves slow as fuck. I guess one more, I don't know. I'm gonna move you up this direction. I like that they have this, like, fucking camera up here. I don't know what the purpose of it is, but I guess it's supposed to kind of make you feel cool. I don't know. Moving to target coordinates. What the fuck? I don't get it. 
moving. Why can I still move? I thought it said... I guess and turn. I don't know what the... CP generated. If you want to turn your Terminator, click and hold down the left mouse button on the Terminator, dragging the direction you want to face, and then release the left mouse button. Note that turning costs 1 AP. You can cancel a turn order by moving the mouse to the middle of the square. When you see a red X, press the left mouse button. When you are done, click and turn. Oh, wait, wait, maybe it's supposed to... If I turn, maybe I can see down the hall. Nothing's down the hall. Does it cost me an action point to turn like this? I guess, I don't know. Move forward. There's supposed to be a thing right here. Oh, it's getting dark. And turn. A Terminator armed with a stone bolter or assault cannon may spend 2 AP to set Overwatch. Overwatch lasts until next turn while Overwatch a Termi while on Overwatch, a Terminator will fire at the Gene Stealers that move within its line of sight. These attacks happen to the Gene Stealer turn and cause 0 AP. The Terminator may also put himself on guard. Being on guard increases the Terminator's chance of survival and close assault. So... With all due haste. It's exactly... It's exactly like XCOM, more than anything. Over oh, yeah. Watching for enemy contact. Overwatch, I guess? Did the fucking people who made XCOM make this game? Because it looks like they're using some of the same symbols here. The Insidious Gene Stealers, the Terminator's primary... God damn it. I didn't even see what the fuck that said. I didn't even click anything. Now, this is kind of one of the reasons why I don't play a lot of games like this, necessarily. Like, uh... Well, XCOM did a good job at their tutorial level, but, like, I hate this kind of shit, where it's just a bunch of message boxes that pop up to tell you how to play the game. It's fucking lame. For enemy movement. It's not fun. It's like, I'm just... So far, I've spent, like, a shit ton of time just reading. Weapon jammed. God. This is, like, to be honest, like, a way shittier <laughs> kind of XCOM. It just, uh... And it doesn't have that same... Kind of, like, action feel to, that, like, XCOM did. XCOM is, like, a fucking perfect game. You get 1 to 6 CP command points at the start of every turn. CPs are just like APs, but can be used on any of your Terminators. They can, for example, be used to move additional squares when a Terminator has already used all of his APs, as shown above. The orange numbers represent the amount of CPs that will be used to perform an action. Okay. I've been wondering what the fuck that was. So we're gonna move you here. God damn it. That's stupid. Unjam Overwatch Guard allows automatic reroll of close assault dice. I guess we'll do guard because they're about to attack me anyways. Where'd my other guy? If this was what Space Marines are really like, like the Terminators, they're just slow ass, shitty. Ah, uh, this does not feel at all badass the way a Warhammer 40k game should feel. You know, they haven't. I don't really think they've ever. I don't think they've ever fucking made a Warhammer 40k game that was actually like really good, except maybe Dawn of War. But even Dawn of War fucking pales in comparison to games like StarCraft 2. They just haven't found their niche yet. Now see, if they had made an XCOM type game like this, no, I don't even think that would work, because I really like XCOM setting more than I like this one. I don't know what they need to do to Warhammer 40k, but this is not it. Revealing a blip shows the true number of gene stealers it represents. A blip is either revealed 
either when the gene stealer player or AI chooses. When the blip is seen by the Terminator, I don't know why I read it like that, or when the blip is seen by a Terminator. When a blip is seen by the Terminator, the gene stealers are placed far away from the Terminators as possible. If a blip reveals voluntary, voluntarily by the gene stealer player AI, the resulting gene stealers may be placed next to the blip. On each level, there are entry areas for which blips uh, enter play. A blip may spawn instantly or lurk in an entry to build up numbers before attacking. Okay. Unit selection and movement speed. Uh, select your Terminator or Gene Stealer by clicking on it on the uh, game board and by clicking on the unit icon in the bottom left corner. The movement speed of the Terminators and Gene Stealers can be changed in the options menu. Yeah. Okay. Let me do that. Let me fucking boost up this an the animation speed. Where the fuck was it? Next. Animation speed. I want very fast. As fast as we fucking can. And in turn confirmation. The zoom game. Why would you make the fucking animations fucking slow to begin with? You're doing it wrong. Unjam. The machine spirits have answered my prayer. Ah. Fall by my hand. They blast those motherfuckers. Drive them back. Okay, so you're fine. Let's go fucking check out the... No. I used up all my command points. Silly ass me. Now this just looks stupid. End turn, yes. Alright, you turn around, and then you're gonna blast the fuck Hostile out of those guys. Cleanse the monstrosity. In each hand, secure. You have done your duty to the Imperium. Alright. That was a boring first level. All right, let's fucking amp it up a bit. The Space Hulk structure is treacherous. That's all it's gonna fucking be. A collapse has left Brother Terminator Zale stranded. With his teleport homer inactive, he must be retrieved by more direct means. Sergeant of the Squad, accept your orders. Destroy the jam. Your troops are scattered. Terminators enter here. Multiple gene stealer satyrs detected in these areas. Only one brother is close enough to render assistance in time. You must reach Brother Zale before he is overrun by the enemy. Okay. Destroy the jam door. Give the new teleport home. Yeah. Teleport Homer to Zale. Teleport out. All units must survive. <sighs> Apart from the flaming gene stealers, a heavy flamer could also be used to block areas. Steal, select Brother Zale and the flame and flame the crossing in front of him. The fire can also spread to adjacent squares and around corners. Flame tiles will burn for one round. The heavy flamer cannot shoot doors. It can be used with move and fire or Overwatch and has limited ammunition. Broken doors. Broken door cannot be opened by either Terminators or gene stealers to destroy a door. Select a uh, storm bolter. Assault cannon, melee attack, click on the door, doors are not broken, blah blah blah, I get it. So, okay, so we're gonna fucking go... Where's the door? This door that we speak of. So they're gonna fucking flood in from there, so I'm guessing they want me to go... This direction. We're just gonna use up all my points, fuck it, I don't care. I'm trying to reunite with what's his nuts right? And then, oh, this is the jam door. I'm guessing, yeah. Nothing shall block our path. Yeah, damn right. Nothing's gonna block our path. Uh, hmm. End turn. No, wait. Is it? Do I have another guy? I don't know where this brother Zale is at. End turn. Yeah, I guess. Oh man, there's a lot of guys. Alright, you're gonna turn around and you're gonna blast the fuck out of everybody right there. Oh wow.
Just burnt the fuck out of everybody right there. Get burnt. And then you're gonna blast this guy. How old is this game? How old is it? I mean, either it's an indie game or it's old, like maybe Dawn of War, I don't know. I wonder if it's like, if it predates Dawn of War 2. Uh, end turn, I guess. End turn, yeah. Oh, end turn, yeah. I. So he's dead? That's just it? That's it. Oh man. I don't even get where the fuck Zale is. I don't really get what this fucking level is. It said, break down the jammed door, make sure everybody survives, give your shit to Zale. But where the fuck is Zale? Whatever. I think I'm gonna call it on this one. Don't really want to continue playing this game. Doesn't seem very interesting. Um, I just, I don't like games where it's like every level they introduce to you a new mechanic, shit that should be fucking self-explanatory. Like, they don't need to tell you how to attack the door other than when you walk up to the door, I have a little message that pops up and says, use your gun on the door. I mean, that's fucking easier. I hate reading through fucking like two paragraphs of shit just to find out something simple. I know it's a stupid thing to complain about. I mean, it's just that and everything else. I just, I don't like this level design. It seems kind of lame. I'm not into it. I, I don't really, like, the narrow corridors where only, like, your one dude can fit down. I don't like the animations. I don't really the, like the way the characters move. It just feels like a really cheap-ass XCOM to me. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, sorry I'm not gonna play this game. I mean, maybe if I see other shit online that changes my mind that's cool maybe but I personally you know there's so many fucking steam games out there I don't want to waste my time playing a game that I'm not really enjoying right now and that may not be worth my time thank you see you guys later